What if you could hit the pause button on your brain at the end of your life with the hope of maybe, just maybe, waking up in the future? Brain preservation explores that possibility, aiming to safeguard our memories, personality and identity with the goal of future revival, if that ever becomes possible. Back in 2016, a breakthrough technique earned the Brain Preservation Foundation Prize for preserving crucial brain features tied to learning and memory. All of the synaptic connectivity was found to be preserved by this method, as well as all the brain molecules that scientists think are involved in human learning and memory. At the same time, neuroscientists and computer scientists around the world have been working hard on scanning, modeling, and emulating neural connections in computers. Opting for brain preservation is a unique and personal choice. Reasons vary, from contributing to science, to easing loved one's grief, to rolling the dice on future revival. But remember, nobody knows what the future might bring, and success is far from guaranteed. Sadly, not everyone can access brain preservation today. Societal prejudices and legal roadblocks make it tough or impossible to get the procedure. Plus, laws require that there's often a long delay after death is declared before the preservation can start. Advocates for brain preservation call for changes in law and policies to make this option more accessible. They're urging the scientific, medical and legal communities to collaborate, creating a fair society where brain preservation is respected as a personal choice. Imagine a world where our brains can be preserved and maybe one day revived. Sounds wild, right? It's an extraordinary possibility that warrants some serious discussion and consideration. Wait a minute. Ensuring brain preservation is well regulated, financially accessible and properly consented to is essential. We want to avoid unnecessary risks or hardships for those involved in such a monumental decision. This is a choice that needs more oversight and guidance. It's also time for open discussions about brain preservation and its potential to contribute to scientific research and make the world a better place. Let's break the taboo and get talking about this fascinating topic. Now, we get it. Brain preservation might not be everyone's cup of tea, and that's totally cool. Deciding on this is a personal journey, and it's also natural for opinions to evolve over time. But hey, even if you're not into the idea yourself, you can still cheer on those who are. Let's respect and support each other's choices. So, if the idea of allowing people to preserve their brains for a possible future revival sparks your interest, let's unite to create a world where brain preservation is an accessible option for all. If you'd like to know more, you can visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter, Preservation. Here's to the human adventure and the wild, unpredictable future.